My darling princess, now that you're getting married, may you find happiness and peace. May your husband be your friend, your lover, your father, and your brother. I was searching for an open door. I was looking for a peace of mind. It's a feeling that I tend to get. Until I make it right Couldn't stand the thought of losing her Before time had come Like a storm I raised at night In the dark I came Yeah!
I want us to just sing a special song of praise unto God before we do the next thing. Hallelujah! Worship yeah. us. We have many reasons to praise the Lord. Because what I'm seeing here today is a nice and prayer. Therefore, we must praise the Lord. You've done so much for me. Yes, sir. Yes. Touch your neck on the side. Gather around. Give me a little man. I praise God for today. Yes. It's a wonderful day in my life. Amen. The life of my wife and the mother of my wife and the entire family connected to me. My brothers are here. The wives of my brothers are here. My sister-in-laws and the husbands are here. And all together, we are in agreement today to do this. Victory. In the name of Jesus, I hand you over. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. March forward. March forward with your bride and come forward. Praise the Lord. The one you want to celebrate today is the one they have handed over to you. Praise the Lord. The miracle of your love and power of your spirit walk in life of these two people. We give praise, the honor and the glory to the power of the Holy Spirit in our lives to bring us into a place of union with the Father, union with the Son, union with the Holy Spirit and union with one another. We thank you, Lord, for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. God bless you. Hallelujah. You are not here just because of tradition. You are here for a serious purpose. To be a witness forever of the miraculous union that will take place from this day. You are in agreement with this union. Don't ever tamper with that agreement. Do you hear me? Praise the Lord. Congregation, please listen carefully. These two people have prayed and before the Lord God himself, they believe with all their heart that it is the perfect will of God for them to be joined together in the Spirit. So from now until the end of this age, I charge you all hearing me now to do everything in your power to see that this union remains solid, strong, happy, and prosperous. This is a miraculous thing and it is of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. The groom, please listen carefully. Have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior? Yes, I have. Have you received the Holy Spirit to dwell in you? Yes, I have. Now, to the bride. Have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior? Yes, I have. Have you received the Holy Spirit? To dwell in you? Yes, now, two of you listen carefully. Now, upon the public confession of your faith, you have made known to all men that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is your Lord and Savior. I made this pronouncement before this congregation and these witnesses when two people join themselves together to the Lord Jesus Christ by faith, according to God's own statement, they stand cleansed. As clean before God as Adam and Eve before we were in the Garden of Eden before they sinned. This is not just the forgiveness of sin, but also a pledge of your faith and love in the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, Any man who is in Christ is a new creation. All things have passed and all things have become new.
Hallelujah. All things are past. And all things are become new. We want to enter into a profession of vow. In other words, the moment we take this vow forever, nobody has power to break it. Brother Amy, she will take work or some we are living in the world. As your own flesh, to love her, even as Christ loved the church, to protect her and care for her the rest of your life. Yes. Then talk to her and make this Today, the fifth day of March 2022. Before all these God's people, the thousands upon thousands of angels in joyful assembly, I said, You, my beloved and my divine, as the bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. And for that reason, I have decided to leave my mother and father and give up to you as my one and only wife, united by God in Christ to become one flesh. Therefore, I pledge by the grace of God to love you as my own body, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for her. I vow to dwell with you according to the knowledge, giving honor to you as a weaker person, and as being heads together of the grace of life. I promise at all times to seek an attitude of understanding and forgiveness, and by the grace of God, create with you a home in which peace of God is known. And the needs of others are recognized. And to look to God's guidance in all that we do. Darling, I tell you, though, I am irrevocably bound to you as long as I live. Amen. Amen. Shall we hear Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I vow to dwell with you according to the Lord. I am in your son. Do you take any she will get as your husband? Submitting yourself to him as you all to the Lord, showing reverence to him as the head of this city for the rest of your life? Yes, I do. Then go to him and let this profession of your faith. My love is on. Since you, with your obedience to the word of God, have accepted me as the bone of your body and the flesh of your flesh, and have consequently left your father and mother and three of you as your one and only wife, united by God in Christ to become one flesh, therefore I, victory, shall be lost in the family. Today, the fifth day of March 2022, before all of these people of God and thousands upon thousands of angels in joyful assembly, submit to you as unto the Lord, recognizing you as my name, as Christ is the name of the church, this body of which he is the Savior. I promise by the grace of God to do you good in all the things of your life. I pledge to develop beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is of great worth in God's sight. I vow to be a woman worthy of respect, not a malicious talker, but temperate and trustworthy in everything. Dear rest of you, never in your life urge me to leave me. Where you go, I will go. Where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people, and your God my God. To death, will stop.
shall we say? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Never in your lifetime touch me to you. Where you go, I will go. Where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people, and your God my God. Till then, do us part. We love the story. Father, we thank you for these ones. They are sanctified for our use in the name of Jesus Christ. Should we can take this room? With this ring? I be well. I be well. It's a token of my faith. It's a token of my faith. That I have released now. That I have released now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Shall we hear Amen. amen. Give me the groom's ring. Hallelujah. Before you receive this ring, Brother this woman stands by your side, not under your feet. You have the responsibility of being the head of this union. I want you to wear this ring in remembrance that she is your husband. If this ring must never be a shackle of goodness, but a reminder of faith and love. Place the ring on her on his finger. Say this to him. With this ring, with this ring I did wait. I give it as a token of my faith. I give it as a token of my faith. I believe with my heart that this is forever. It is, my love. it is my love and my faith in the name of our Lord Jesus. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. amen. Can I hear amen? Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you join your right hand as you face yourself? Join your right hand, man of God, make a connection. As a representative of Jesus Christ before God Almighty, and in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, I now pronounce you all together. You are husband and wife. Amen. 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 Take away the noise and water. And you clap your hands. Hallelujah. Amen. No. I am happy. It's all yours. Yeah. That everybody will participate. When it is time to say amen, you say amen. 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 When amen. it is time to rejoice, you rejoice. Amen. 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 Listen to your blessings. The blessings God has on this union. Galatians chapter 3 says that Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Be miracles for us. For it is written. That we may be heirs of the promise of the Spirit to faith. First Peter chapter 3 says, A man and his wife are heirs together of the grace of life. I'm going to read to you your blessing, your inheritance, so listen carefully. According to Deuteronomy chapter 28, all these blessings will come on you and overtake you. Do you believe that? Blessed shall thou be in the city, and blessed shall thou be in the field. Amen. Can I hear the church say amen? amen? Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. Blessed shall be thy basket, and thy storehouse. Amen. I didn't hear amen. amen. Blessed shall thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. Amen. The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in thy storehouses, and in all that thou settest thy hand unto. And he shall bless thee in the land when the Lord thy God giveth thee. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 
At this time, we want to pray. Administer the Holy Communion. Are you ready for that? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for this spot. This is it to be bread. And wine is now the body and the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But I uh, take it, the bread and serve your wife. Then eat. Take the blood. Drink, serve her. You are a wonderful husband. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we want to bless your name. Thank you for what you have done. Amen. He sealed. Nobody can break it. Hallelujah. At this time, we want to pray for them.
laugh the way you never clapped before. <laughs> Hallelujah! Do you know why I ask you? It is not good to buy foreign suit and wear it with bathroom slippers. <laughs> Hallelujah! Listen, Pastor GBK, na product. Pastor Lawson, na product. And if you see the smile, you will let the real member of worship center in <laughs> I want to declare now. I want to introduce to you the newest the
of wonderful testimonies and good things you have done in the lives of these two families. Oh God and Father, things that bring us close to you and help make us give you worship and adoration. Father, we have come here to celebrate it today and give you glory and praise your holy name in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Today is a wonderful day. When I met these young people in my office, I asked them, how do you meet each other? How do you know you are going to your own, your own family to marry? One living in South Africa, another one living here with us in Nigeria. How do you get that connection? Do you know yourself when you were young, little, because the girl was taken to South Africa when she was very, very young. You see how God protects people in a divine way, in a miraculous way. I look into their lives and their background. I feel so delighted. Brother Lawson, Brother Jimmy Kewogu, pastors of Living World Ministries. Their wife, their, their children finding themselves to get together and marry in marriage. You did not lose any of them. You can understand the life in South Africa. So pure and clean. I'm not talking things too wonderful for my mouth. I visit South Africa. Very obedient to their parents. Submissive. Intelligent, love Jesus Christ, worship Him. The dark waters, a mission house, they were staying. They were not playing truancy, jumping South Africa. Every time I saw them, they were worshiping God under the umbrella of their parents. And the same thing applicable to him. Jimmy K. Wogu and his elder brother here, Oaku. Let me hear his name. The name of your elder brother. Even Zim, forget about the Nelson. Even Zim, we know. The one that helped me to champion Scripture Union in Abbasidi. Great man of God that took me to his father. I told him, I know your grandfather. That was the time I was worshiping and uh, preaching in Bible church as a young little boy. Having performed many miracles around a few years ago, raising the dead from dead, became so popular that old man will always bring me home to pray for him. I was praying for him and ministering to him until he left and God went to heaven. Him and his wife. Very powerful, godly house. Levite, marry Levite. And that is how the word of God wants it to be. You remember your foundation, you can never break it. Holy people marry holy people. And that's what I do for this marriage today, and that's why I'm here. I appreciate God that has done this. The simple word of God that comes to my heart is a the word of God that brought you to Christianity. The word of God that you cannot break apart. The truth that has existed and been there. When Billy Graham began his message, he preached on these parts of the scripture hundreds of times. A young preacher, they began to wonder, didn't he have any other verse of the scripture to preach on? Because he overflowed it, but could not overflow it. For God so loved the world 
that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, will not perish, but will have everlasting life. My interest is the love of God. When you have received Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, the love that is attracting you now is not a woman's love. It is a love amplified, baptized by the Spirit of the living God. And that is the love of God. And this love of God has its characteristic. Whether it is in the, our Father God, or has descended into your temple, your heart, it must have the same features, the same characteristics, the same attitude, the same mannerism, the same behavior. It cannot change. God loved the world, he gave his best. Gave his best. The best he had. Jesus Christ, the Son of God. The only begotten Son. You can't tell me your love. You will not take the best. You cannot give the best. Some of us in human general love, we are very economical as long as love is concerned. So selfish. You give the best for yourself, not for your wife, and not for your husband. The love that comes from God is the best. My wife, since we're married, for over 46 years now, every time she is doubling her house around, I am in expectation that that is a surprise, surprise gift she's bringing, which I have not seen. Love of God is maintained on daily basis. Always pulling out that surprise to maintain it and keep it warm. Not only dancing today, my best daddy, but tomorrow until 46 years. Remaining unsuffordable. Nothing by any means can divide you. Remaining warm and hot. We are still using the same bedroom. We are still partying in the same bathroom. We are still treating each other. Wake up in the night to see whether your lover is there. Any day she's not in that room. I feel so lonely. It's a wonderful thing. The love of God can never be broken, can never be destroyed. It is not a devil. It cannot be angry very easily. It does not rejoice in bad things. It's always perfect. Always thinking of what you do for the other and not what you receive. Giving yourself out, no matter the hurt and anger, it will never remove you from your responsibility. You cook, still cook food. No matter how bad I am, I am my wife still feeds me. I still bring out money to maintain the family. This is how God has bound us with love. Love of God can never fade away. But that in the places, you see him ah, now. I don't know whether you love her because she's a snippet. And so gorgeous and like. But when, as I see, in the most time she comes pregnant. Amen. And the guy to be a little bit funny. She is a situation. And it comes for you like that. I hope you still love her. The conscious of loving. Read the word of God. Prepare your heart to love. It's a determination. You are not looking on the surface. You are looking inside. God. Determine to love. And you enjoy love. It's not a careless thing. If you determine to love that way, it has responsibility. If this man does not love, if this woman does not love, 
Love will make you to be so responsible and so accountable. There is something it must cost you that you can love somebody. Some people who don't want to take that responsibility just marry for marriage sake. Maybe you want to get a child or your age mates are married. If you are irresponsible, don't venture to get into love. God bless you. I am happy. Now, I think they got that sign. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah! Honestly, I, I enjoy hearing from the man of God. Praise the Lord. Oh, my God. And today I'm happy. Praise the Lord. Father, we are so grateful for such a day of celebration of your will. Father, we are so grateful that what we are doing today is evidence that you answer prayers. Today is a day that this man, according to your word, you said it is not good for a man to be alone. And in fulfillment of your word, we are celebrating this wedding. Father, receive all glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, everyone that attended this program, because whatsoever said the man saw it, that shall be also reap. As all of them have made out time to come and celebrate the blessings of a family. Father, may people gather to join them to celebrate their own families in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, every step that will be taken, let it be ordered by you, by your spirit, by the rule of your kingdom. And let everything concerning this occasion, this ceremony, may it bring glory and honor to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Shall we stand to our feet?
but here you have a beautiful ceremony and get all new things. Thank you so much. Please, in the course of the program, you feel you want to go, maybe you're rushing for something, don't go without your gift. Please, we are here. Today is the day of gift. And in case you've not gotten something, please, ushers will go around. Tell us we can go to the market right now and buy anything you want. If you want, normal. If not that big cow, we can bring it before the end of the event. Amen. Please, right now, please, Johnny, make welcome. Um, Barista, Pastor Barista Anyele Mwakwa as he comes to take the opening prayer. Exactly. We are so grateful to you for this wonderful ceremony. This miracle you have performed unto us this morning. Lord, as we enter into this second segment of the reception, Holy Spirit come and take control as usual. Father, we surrender every activity here to you. Let Jesus alone be glorified and let the people rejoice. We give you glory. We saturate this atmosphere with the blood of Jesus, with the glory of God, and with the presence of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, sir. Please put your hands together once more. Don't get tired of clapping. This is a wedding ceremony. Please put your hands together once more. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. I'm a lady of my word, and um, we'll be rushing. But there's a place I'll get on. I say, oh, we try that seven if you want to go, but you will not go. <laughs> oh my God, please, I want to um, hand over the microphone right now to the chairman of this event who will tell us our next step. Please join in a welcome with Jesus Joy in our hearts, the chairman of this location, Engineer Cyprian Amadi. You're welcome, sir. Thank you so much, MC. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You don't seem so cold. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, I want you to feel free, relaxed, and be happy today. You know, there's one special thing about today's wedding. Exactly. Exactly 19 years ago. The father of my little girl that's wedding today, big foot, conducted my wedding exactly 19 years ago. So, this today's event is so special to me. And why it's so special to me is that I feel honored that my father and the house asked me to share this occasion. And I believe that at the end of the day, everyone will be very happy today. You are all welcome, and I want you to feel free, relax, knowing that what we came here to do today, each and every one of you will also remember a day like this when you are celebrating again in Jesus' name. And in those very few words, for my friend that I waited today, just two words, I want to drop there so I don't forget them. Number one is, we should always try our best to help them to always be open to each other, which is one important thing. Then number two, there's one thing I, I did when I got married. I called my wife, I told her that there are two things that we can never do in this house. And there are two things that are only tolerated. And number one is that the only time we can accept anything on credit is either on drugs, or food. So, if you can be open to each other and learn to avoid anything credit, then everything will work out fine. Praise the Lord. Once again, I just want to welcome all of us, even as we are going into the next part of our meeting, this one, which is equal or not. I welcome each and every one of you. I say, relax. Today's event is going to be enjoyed by I promise you. And if we are not going to waste your time, praise the Lord. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Please a round of applause for the chairman, engineer, secret, Amadi. Please put your hands. If you put your hands right where you are coming, please act. Do it by clapping like. Please jump your hands together. Oh my God. You know? Um, when you borrow something, then there are conditions that 
Let it not be wrong when you come back. <laughs> but you're not going to give that out to anybody. You know, I'm so happy. Something you said 19 years ago, Vichy was a little bride. I thought it was Vichy, sir. She was a little bride. And today, the little bride is now the... Eh? She's now the one? The queen. Uh -huh. The bride and the queen. All of them. Let me watch. So she's the queen bride. Let me mix them together. So the little bride is the queen bride today. And there's one beautiful part I always enjoy in doing weddings. When the woman said, please show your wedding certificate. You see, it's always the lady that is holding it. You know, excited you are showing. And one of the days I got home, and my dad said something to me. He said, child, that in church, when the daughter was holding her wedding certificate, he told himself, he had received what you know my own. So, see that you have the receipts. And for this time, you are not sold. So, it means anything you have the permit is not Lena's permit. So, now you have your full driver's license. If you like throttle till 1,000 kilometers per hour, insurance has covered you. Please put your hands together for them once more. Please let the cola go around right now. Please, the cola, if you want, we have enough. We have cola from South Africa. We have cola from Omoaya. We have cola from our bank. In fact, all my now, if you don't see, just see it by faith on your plate. And all things will be possible. Amen. Okay, so much. Um, something I've been trying to do. Before we have um, them cut their cake. Usually, I love to celebrate parents in weddings. Because it's not easy. To have, there's something special about this wedding. Both parents, from the groom and the bride, they are all alive witnessing today. Sometimes you go for a wedding ceremony, maybe the lady's husband, uh, sorry, father is late or the mother. But here we have four parents today celebrating their two children. Please give God all the glory. And then, Grandma. Grandma is also here. It's a very beautiful one. So, DJ, please. Okay. Even if we're in a hurry, just give me a powerful song. I like it's up good. So please, you're going to be my judge. Everyone of you sit down. Sit at your judge. I need to know the best dancer out of this four. You can come here, I want to see you. Please come here, I want to see you. You will tell me the best dancer. And the best dancer will have a little token for that person this day.
children will dance three that you guys might be there too. In the name of Jesus. I give you time so that you can do more. Are you ready? You ready? We watch them touch the cake. And when they're doing that, I'll just round up the feet. Some person. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Father to Jesus the Son and give 
Jesus died with a song. Amen. Please celebrate as she goes by. Okay, I saw him together. I saw one there. And I believe as they have called this day that God Almighty will sit on high in fact of every aspect that concerned this marriage in Jesus' name. Thank you so much, my she saw what togetherness. Church praise the Lord. Yes, I want them very carefully. I saw a couple that is very comfortable with each other. I saw peace, I saw unity. I saw communicators. They are communication, they communicate all together. They are body and their eyes. Peace be unto you. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. And I call you a senator, that's why you say communication. <laughs> You're welcome, sir. Please let's hear you. Good evening, Mr. Jensen. Uh, this moment is uh, remarkable. It's a remarkable moment to me because um, the bride, I'm going to say the bride is my sister, and the last time I saw her was when I was very little. So it's something of joy to me to be speaking. I like that. Understand? I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. As you want to saw, the two couple, uh, the couples have their hands, the bird or the fever, and like people will always say, it shows submission. And uh, my prayer for you is that you have a sustainable and long lasting relationship, joy, peace, and you give birth to children. Your last one will look like me. Thank you. What would your last one look like? Because she's my sister. You have that. Love, what I just love is that joy will just be the order of the day in this family. You can see the love between them, the bond is so much there. And another thing, what beautiful thing, in fact, when you have godly parents, godly parents in law, to a great extent, you already have a successful marriage. <laughs> and let me not even go there. Sometimes, you see, if you marry godly parents, the lady will complain, say, my dear, for better, for worse. But it's not this unbelieving mother. Who is a woman yet? Why don't you give your no love back? There's a room for you here. And two years later, she will tell you everything I tell you you will do. So please, it's a very beautiful thing to have godly parents. And if you have one, always make sure you celebrate them. So please put your hands together for them once more. And um, right now, we're going to the assignments. We are going to the assignment. If you don't do hard work, they say the one is not doing well. It's not like that anymore. Because if you eat healthy, you might not have to be a shearing. You may want a Do you understand? So the world is changing. It was in those olden times. You see a big woman walking like this. You got a reaction. <laughs> so now we don't have a reaction. It's a dozy apple. So they are going to feed themselves now. Please help them with the key. What's more, you tell her.
than himself. And I believe that this is a, a good sign. This, this, this means that he's going to be, you know, a good head, a good covering upon my sister. My sister is the best because she is the best. Yeah. 
Thank you, sir. 